Become a channel member and support the content. You also get access to exclusive videos. You'll get an emote next to your name in the comments. The link for that can be found next to the subscribe button or in the description. And if you'd rather get your coins direct rather than roll the dice with FIFA points, head to u7buy.com and at checkout, use the code TVM for a discount. The link can be found down below. What is going on guys, Tivium here, welcome back to a brand new player review, the 93 rated, uh, what are they calling this, premium squad builder challenge. It of course is for Wayne Rooney who has retired now, I think he's now the Derby County manager, and of course they do this every year, I think he even had one last year, uh, it was like an end of an era or something, or just a, sp I don't even think they're calling it that anymore, they don't call them end of an era, they literally just call them special, or uh, premium squad builder challenges this card looks unreal though we talk about end game cards this is in that category for sure uh, there are a fair few cards that come out here or there the dybala moments card suarez objective card you look at them and you think yeah they're good now but how long are they going to be good for this type of card comes out and you look at it and you think yeah he's good now is it going to last me till the end of the game on paper I mean, he's he's got a very strong argument. Four star, four star. So he's been upgraded from the three star, three star of the 77 rated card that I'm sure nobody used because he only had 53 pace and uh, not an awful lot else going for him either. But now that he's been upgraded to a 93, that was a huge upgrade. High attacking work rate, medium defensive, stocky body type. So knowing that he doesn't have his actual body type, and like Ronaldo has a specific Ronaldo body type, Messi's the same. Neymar, I think, is the same. There's a load of other players in the game as well. Ro Rooney is one of those players that you'd think that they would have just carried it over from previous games, maybe tweaked it a little bit here or there, but they haven't. He's just got a standard stocky body type. Really good stats across the board. The physical is one of the ones that you'd have to look at first with this type of card. Is the stamina good enough? Is the strength good enough? Will that last me? 90 and 90. That is good enough till the end of the game. You've got 90 long passing, only 84 short passing. Bit weird, bit short, a uh, bit low rather, not a bit short. Uh, free kicks are good. Vision's good. Finishing across the board is fantastic. Mid to high 90s. His dribbling across the board, apart from the balance and agility, 99, 91, 94, 95. And then, of course, 90 balance with 86 agility. Not the paciest as well at 89 acceleration, 86 sprint speed. Still good, but not the paciest. But you wouldn't expect him to be. It's Wayne Rooney. It's not Ronaldo, you know? So, yes, we've got him as a CDM. Yes, he's not quite on chem. Is he going to remain in the CDM spot? For the review, no. Uh, he will be reviewed as a striker. But going forward, I think he'll probably end up being like some sort of secondary CM slash cam at times because of A, who's in this squad, and B, I think that the versatility that he has, he's more than capable of playing anywhere in the midfield, anywhere uh, up top. And, and you'll be able to get something out of him and you'll be able to get... Um, well, yeah, you'll be able to get something out of him. I think the best position for him is probably striker. The problem with it is that there are so many good strikers in this game, and a few of them are in this club. Then it's kind of, um, I don't know, I, I don't really want to put him in there instead of Ronaldo or instead of Cruyff or something like that, right? So he's going to be dropped down where he was in the latter stages of his career, really playing more of a, as a CM than anything else. Not a CDM, don't get it twisted. He's not going to play as a defensive midfield player. Because I, I do want him to get forward every now and again because he can bang goals. His shot power is off the charts. It is 99. And when he hits it, it stays hit. And the goalkeepers are going to be in the world of trouble. That from Cruyff is one of the reasons why he needs to stay in the team. And then Wayne Rooney there to um, finish it off. But Wayne Rooney wouldn't normally be there, of course. He would be where uh, that ball has been picked up there. That sort of role in the middle doing some defensive work, also driving it forward, coming forward and maybe scoring goals like that as well, maybe creating chances like that. I think that's probably the best place for him. However, if for whatever reason your team, you know, doesn't have a few icons in it, maybe you've been really unlucky from the mid or base icon packs or maybe you didn't take icons from icon swaps, you only had enough for the packs, you opened the packs for team of the year, you didn't get anything back, maybe you've just been really unlucky, then, okay, it's, it's a shame you've been unlucky. Should you really be going to spend 500,000 coins on one card? But I don't know, maybe you're a avid Wayne Rooney fan and you have to get this card even though your team doesn't look the best. Then, yes, put him as a striker, score goals with him, have fun. However, the majority of people out there are going to have probably a version of Ronaldo. If not, you'll have Neymar and Mbappe or Messi or maybe one other 
really good card. Maybe you've been lucky enough to pack a team of the year Lewin or something. You know, maybe you'll have something of that ilk and you won't want to play Rooney as a as a striker. The beauty of this card is that you can honestly you can play him at Cam. I wouldn't necessarily want to play him at Cam. I think his agility is a tad on the low side. Look at this for a goal, by the way. Lovely lateral heel to heel flick and a great finish. And that is one of the reasons why playing him as a CDM is going to feel like a bit of a waste in some cases because his finishing is that good. Like, he's really accurate with his finishing. Almost every shot that he has will hit the target, if not go in, because of the shot power as well. So, you know, it's it's going to be swings and roundabouts. There's definitely reasons to play him as a striker. There's definitely reasons to play him as a central midfield player. Ultimately, the main takeaway from this is that I couldn't really find a massive negative other than the fact that, and I've mentioned it already at the very beginning of the video, the chemistry. It's very difficult to get him on full chem unless you play an English icon or you have uh, an English sort of, or just icons in general, I guess, to, to wrap around him, or you have an English theme running through your team, because I don't think there's another useful championship player. I might be wrong in saying that, but I don't think there's another useful championship player. So unless you have icons to wrap around him and sort of box him in, or unless you have English and icons to box him in, then unfortunately there is going to be some sort of uh, chemistry discretion, um, discrepancy but with that being said I mean playing him on 8 chem you can see here it's not really affecting him he's getting his assists in he's getting goals I've been told Cruyff never misses unfortunately he missed there I don't know what happened the only con honestly is the championship links I could not find anything else wrong with this card at all this is I think is the highest rated card I've or the highest rating I've given to a card I should say wasn't the utmost enjoyment because even though I do like Wayne Rooney or used to like Wayne Rooney as a player like watching him obviously now he's retired but I d didn't have that emotional attachment to him you know if anything I should hate him I'm a Liverpool fan he played for Everton he played for Man United uh, two clubs that I obviously I don't like so I should dislike him I liked him as a player I can appreciate a good football player back in the day when he scored that free kick for Everton and the commentator went wild Big fan, big, big fan, but um, because I didn't have that, you know, like if he, if he was like a Liverpool player, for example, the enjoyment would be through the roof because I would be, I'd have a really good card that used to play for the team I support and so on and so forth, right? So enjoyment is there, it's a good card, but I, because I don't have the emotional attachment to it, I'm not over the, overly joyed by it, but I think for anyone looking to improve their team, if you can squeeze him in there, even on 7 chem, you would not be making a mistake. He is a fantastic card with good value because this on the market would be, in my opinion, more expensive than what the SBC is currently coming in at, which is around 425,000 coins. Let me know what you think of the card in the comment section down below. If you have enjoyed today's video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel for new, and until the next time, goodbye. Join the betting rebellion and find out what your football knowledge is really worth.